Okay, so I'm going to help you find the centroid of a complex shape. At this point, you should be comfortable finding the centroid of simple shapes. Simple shapes being things like rectangles and squares and triangles. For instance, in our complex shape, our complex shape is made up of a rectangle here and a triangle here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to break this down into two separate parts. I'm going to use the equation for finding a centroid. The x distance to the centroid is equal to the sum of the product of each part's area times its x distance to its centroid divided by the sum of all the part area parts. And the y distance is equal to the sum of each part's area and its y distance divided by the total area. Now what's going to help me do this is to create a table. So let's start with a table. And this table will help us do the, do the math. So first of all we're going to break this down into our two simple shapes. So part one is the rectangle and part two will be the triangle. And we need to find the area of each of the two simple shapes and its centroid location. And we need to know the centro centroid location's reference to some sort of reference point. I'm going to pick the lower left corner so that all my distances are positive. And every distance we measure in here, x and y, must be relative to that reference point. So let's start off with the first part. Part 1 is a rectangle that has an area in inches squared and the area is going to be 4 by 9 or 36 inches squared. Its centroid is right in the middle here so it's a distance 2 over and 4 and a half up. Okay, And so x for part 1 is going to be 2 and the dimensions on that will be inches and y will be four and a half and the dimensions on that are also inches. Let's look at part two now. Part two is a triangle and it is seven inches in the base times nine high divided by two or thirty one point five inches squared. Now we have to find its centroid. Its centroid, again, this is 7 inches along the base. So its centroid is going to be one-third the distance over and one-third the distance up. One-third of 7 is 2 and a third. and one-third of the distance 9 is going to be 3 inches. Okay. So, the important thing to note is we don't want this 2.33 for x, but we actually want the full distance all the way over to the reference point. So that's going to be 4 plus 2.33 equals 6.33. If you're going to make a mistake here, this is the one place that the mistake is usually made. So x here is 6.33 inches, and y is 3 inches. Now, because in our equation here I need the sum of the product of ax, I need to find the, the products ax, and then I'm going to sum them up. So 36 times 2 is 72, and that will be inches cubed. And then 36 times 4.5 is 162, and that will also be inches cubed. 31.5 times 6.33 is 199.49, and 31.5 times 3 is 94.5. Okay, so what I've done is I've found all my little axes, I found all my little a's, and all my little ay's. And now what I need to do is sum them up. So the sum of the areas is 36 plus 31.5, and that will give us 
seven point five inches squared and the sum of my a axis is seventy two plus one ninety nine point four nine or two seventy one point four nine and my sum of my ay's is two hundred and fifty six point five now let's look again at the equation x bar which is the distance x measured over from our reference point here is going to equal the sum of the a-axis that number there 271.49 divided by the sum of the areas 67.5 notice that this is in inches cubed and this is inches squared and so my answer is going to come out in units of inches which it should the answer is 4.02 inches so that brings me over just past this red line right about here now we look at y bar y bar is equal to 256.5 inches cubed divided by the same 67.5 inches squared and that gives me 3.80 inches so I go up 3.8, which is up about here. So our, our centroid of our entire shape will be approximately right here. At a distance x bar, is equal to 4.02 inches. And y bar, equal to 3.80 inches. Now, if you had a complex shape that was made up of more than two, we would just add more items in our table here and still sum up the areas, sum up the AX, and sum up the AY.